Each channel of a team has a dedicated email address assigned to it when it's created. And that is because there is a conversations tab within each of those channels where threaded conversations happen. If you'd like to have a way that you can forward an email on to everyone having visibility to it that's part of your team, finding this email address is a great way to do that. Now let's go ahead and find this. At the top of the channel, next to the name of the team and the channel, are the three ellipses. This is the More Options menu. From this menu, if you select Get Email Address, you can see the dedicated email address that was auto-populated when the channel was created. If you'd like to remove this email address, you can select the link just below the field. To copy it, select Copy in the lower right corner, and it will copy it to the clipboard for your operating system on your device. Now that we've copied this to the clipboard, let's switch over to Outlook Online. That scenario I was talking about earlier where you might want to forward a message or maybe even a new message that you are composing, you can do that from Outlook Online, from Outlook 2019, or another preferred email application. I already have a new message here that I am composing that I'd like to send to that channel. Since I have it copied to the clipboard, I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut Control V to paste this into the field. Note to editor, please um, overlay or, or mask the suggested emails that come up, the list that comes up after I paste this in. Okay, there is the email address. We can see that it's the idea exchange channel for the media R&D team. We're ready to send it on its way. Let's go ahead and send that. Now let's go back to the idea exchange channel. Here we are in the media R&D team, idea exchange channel. And here is the email that was just sent to the conversations tab. And that is how you can copy an email address and reuse it.